This video is a quick introduction to using the new manual round toe shoe last template in uh, Shoe Last Maker. So as you can see, it's uh, a round toe very similar to the standard round toe template I put out first. Uh, but if you look very carefully in the toe area, you can see this, the subtle differences in the toe shape. That's not something that you could have achieved with the uh, first uh, round toe template. Uh, but with this new manual round toe template, it's uh, all kinds of subtle variations are, you can are able to achieve. So this is the rendered view. I'm just going to switch back to uh, the shaded viewport just so things can run a little more quickly here. And I'd hidden some curves there too. Uh, so let's just have a look first at the last bottom edge curve. And you can see there's just a lot more control all in the toe area here. Uh, so essentially there's two uh, four point uh, curves, NURBS curves, uh, making up the medial side and another two on the lateral side. They, uh, the two curves meet um, at this point here and you're able to control the position of that point uh, based on this parameter here. Um, as well as uh, this parameter here. So we can move that uh, joining point back, for instance. We'll go uh, up to 15 millimeters here. And you can see we've moved that point back. And we can also move we'll go up to 30 here. And you can also control the shape um, of the curve with these parameters. Go up to 50%. You can see we just this gradual adjustment in shape you can achieve here. Um, and you can do the same kind of adjustments on the anterior uh, four point control point curve on the medial side to change the make subtle changes to the shape there. And also uh, for the two curves making up the lateral side of the toe area. And once you're satisfied with the shape uh, that you've achieved on the last bottom edge, you can end edit. And you can see the changes have been applied to the to the toe area here. Um, so now, uh, also you can control the shape of the top curve on the toe wall. And that's why I'm calling it a manual uh, <coughs> round toe shoe last, shoe last template uh, because uh, on the previous round toe shoe last template you weren't able to control this curve it was automatically designed uh, but when you start getting more complex refined toe shapes it's important to be able to control the uh, toe wall top curve so there's uh, two kind of views you can control it from uh, three actually but let's uh, start off with the first main one is just make sure you're looking down at the last and now you pick it up you right click and Here's where you can control the shape of it, and so uh, once again, it's kind of it's consisting of uh, two different uh, curves, and the, uh, on the medial and the lateral sides, and the connecting points can be controlled. So we're going to move it out. Uh, since we changed the shape on the bottom edge, we should probably have this curve follow along a bit better. So I'm going to move this joining point out by uh, up to maybe 23 millimeters. And you can see it follows along quite a bit more nicely there. Similar, it's already doing that on the lateral side because it was originally designed like that. And then when you're satisfied, you click End Edit. And you can see the adjustment, it follows along much more nicely now. So it's a lot of control uh, that and a lot of different parameters you have to set, but you have a lot, uh, you have much better ability to create much more refined toe shapes. So now, um, you can also edit that wall curve from the lateral side. And uh, the only, uh, you can control the height um, at which it ends here and the height at which it starts as well as the angle that it enters in at. And uh, so I'll just show you the angle. Uh, if we go up to say 14 degrees, you can see it's a lot uh, more scooping in here. The 10 worked out much better for this last, so go back to that. 
And similarly, uh, you can also control the top uh, to wall edge curve from the medial side. You just view from the medial side first before hitting enter or right clicking. And similar controls can be made. Adjustments can be made. And so yeah, that's about it for the uh, manual round toe uh, shoe last template. And if you have any questions, uh, please uh, check out the website, shoelastmaker.com, and uh, you can contact me from there.